If you've been watching my videos for a while, you will have obviously noticed the big old plaster patch in the kitchen ceiling um, that hasn't been painted. Well, today that changes. Rob is finally getting round to painting the patch in the ceiling. Most of you that watch my videos don't subscribe to my channel so this is just a little few seconds to say please subscribe to my channel it really helps hope you enjoy the video thanks very much what's it copy the Can you copy the five? Mommy! No, mommy just five. Like this, look. Mom. Jessica, do it? Yeah. Oh, good try. Hi guys, so we've been into town this morning. Um, Jessica had asked to go into town to get a new umbrella. So while we were in town, Ryan's glasses needed picked up. So we went to pick up his glasses. Last time he broke his glasses, my mum took them in for him. And at the same time, she bought him a spare pair that was exactly the same. So when he broke them, he would have a spare while they were getting fixed. When I took, when he broke his glasses and I took them in, I thought, oh yeah, it'll be free to fix them because he's just got his spare pair at home and this is, you know, the NHS. It didn't work like that, so we ended up getting charged for fixing them. Apparently what they do to be able to tell which is the NHS pair and which is the private pair is they, like, scratch the inside of the frames to make a mark. I didn't realise they did this and I didn't realise he'd been wearing the spare pair and so when he broke them because they went in and had this scratch on we then had to pay for it so that was a bit annoying but I get where it's coming from so while we were in town we did some shopping so I thought I would share it with you uh, first of all we went to Poundland and we got some of the pick a mix tubs of sweets, just the little ones. Jessica got one, Rob got one, and we bought one for Ryan because he has his six month muscle specialist checkup after school today. So we thought that would be a nice snack for him for after school um, while he's waiting for that. But yeah, so they're normally pretty easy appointments because he just kind of runs around the room and the physio is there watching him, seeing how he's doing while we talk to the doctor. But yes, so we went to Poundland first, got the sweets. Now, if you've watched one of our other videos about the absolutely disastrous kite flying at Easter, we bought some kites um, from Poundland. So we've got, these are the pictures of them. Um, but they were a pound each and we thought, oh, we'll get them and maybe these will fly. Maybe we can actually fly some kites. So 
They were a pound each. We got two of them. One for Jessica, one for Ethan, because they would buy it. Um, I got a ring binder for just all, like, hospital letters and school stuff for Ryan. We also got this. I saw this, which is a ring light. I've never had a ring light. But it was only £4. So I thought, I'll get it and I'll try it out and see if it makes a difference. Right. So my camera's back on its normal stand and it's got the light behind it and actually I think that works really well. If you've not got any lighting and you want something cheap, I mean, I think that's definitely made a difference. I would definitely recommend that. Um, then I went into Shoe to get some sandals for our holiday. Um, now, I looked at the black Doc Martin sandals that everybody's wearing at the moment because they looked really nice and I wanted to spend a bit of money because I want a pair that's going to last a long time and Doc Martens last a long time and they were comfy but I also saw these which are Shoes own brand ones that were £40 and this is them. So I thought, oh, I'll try them on to compare. And actually, I found that these were comfier um, and they were £40 compared to £99. Um, so I got these in a size 6 for holiday because I needed ones that would stay on on the roller coasters because normally I tend to wear like slides and flip flops that sort of thing but when you're doing roller coasters they'll just fall off your feet so I needed something that would stay on so this is what I've got Rob was very pleased I picked these instead of the Doc Martens and obviously I went to Primark because why wouldn't you I got these shorts um, the orange ones which they're £13 which I didn't think was too bad and I love bright colours and I also got them in pink because, of course, got to have them in pink. Um, so that's them. You will see them when I wear them in Disneyland. Um, oh, and I also got these stitch joggers for on the aeroplane. I got a 12 to 14 because I found the 14 to 16 when I tried them on was a bit big. So I'm hoping these will fit, but they've got the cute stitch bit on there, full length joggers, and they were £12, because I thought they'll be good for the aeroplane. Uh, we've got those, and then we spotted this for Jessica, for a little bag for her to take on the aeroplane, and it was only £6, and because it's pink, she loves it. I will check in with you guys after we've had Ryan's muscle appointment. muscle appointment on Thursday it is now Monday so it's been a while but there was nothing really to report from Ryan's muscle appointment because it's all kind of waiting on him having his muscle biopsy and seeing what the results of that are which we have a surgery date I don't think I've told you yet but it is the 20th of June Ew, Rob's driving <laughs> Um, 
the 20th of June is when he's having his surgery so it's the 15th of May now so that's not very long away so that's quite good um, so yeah there wasn't too much to report from his muscle appointment the only thing they did say which was quite interesting is that if the surgery didn't solve his sleep issues then they would prescribe him melatonin considering he's been bouncing around till half nine the past couple of nights and then up at six I'm pretty interested in trying melatonin if his surgery doesn't help with his sleep um, but we will we'll just have to wait and see what happens after surgery and recovery and stuff so after he's had his muscle biopsy if they have a diagnosis from the biopsy they will schedule an appointment with us after they've got the results and if the biopsy says oh we could do these tests and maybe we'll get a diagnosis they'll write a letter to us and letting us know what blood tests that got to do and then they'll see us again for our six month checkup in six months um, but yes we're off to the toy shop because Jessica's done amazing with her toilet training so she gets to pick a new toy um, and we might pick something up for Ethan as well while we're there oh and Rob Rob says he wants something too so we'll see 